Hey everybody, this is Brian from Smoky Outdoor Adventures and thanks for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this uh, series I'm going to try to put together is informative to everybody or anybody that has not bought an adventure bike. I'm in the process of buying one. I've been wanting to do this for a couple months now, but my life has been a little hectic. Uh, I've been in Florida where I've lived. I was up in Virginia for six months doing contract work. A company hired me and then they transferred me to Minneapolis. So I've been around quite a bit and uh, this is something that uh, I've been wanting to do but since I don't have a studio as you can tell I'm in my hotel room I figure I'm gonna go ahead and start this anyways because hopefully it will help somebody out there because what I've learned is it's very confusing buying an adventure bike I've been riding bikes on and off my whole life the last seven years I've had a cruiser and I've been doing a lot of road riding now I want to venture into the adventure bike <clears throat> I'm gonna do little weekly uh, maybe bi-weekly snippets or videos to try to share my journey hopefully by sharing my journey it will help other people that are going down this same path one day as far as buying an adventure bike some of the different topics i'm going to drive or to discuss are what type of adventure bike to buy i've asked that question and i get a lot of different questions back at me on how much am i going to use it what am i going to use it for is it going to be on road off road what's the percentage but when you're going into it who knows that uh, so type of bike, uh, size of bike, brand of bike, I'm going to try to address some of that. The other thing I'm going to address is clothing. You know, riding on the road is one thing, but when you get out there and you want to ride an adventure bike off-road, clothing is going to be totally different. It's something I'm going to have to learn about, hopefully by spending a lot of time online and also by getting feedback from people. So if anybody is an adventure bike enthusiast and can help with this video, by all means, let me know and or just add your comments uh, as, after you see the video that I post. A lot of time I've spent been on my computer Googling, uh, asking questions, visiting various uh, uh, websites around adventure riding, um, asking a lot of questions whenever I get the opportunity to ask questions, which everybody should do. Um, it can take me a while to buy a bike, but once I finally make my decision, I make my decision and I go. So I would have already bought one if my life wasn't in a little bit of turmoil right now of going from Florida to Virginia and Virginia back to Florida and Florida here to Minneapolis. But it looks like Minneapolis is going to be home base for a while, and I'm really, really excited about being out here. I've never lived anywhere other than Florida, other than my little brief stint that I stayed in Virginia. But now I get to conquer the Midwest, and I've understood being in Minneapolis for a week, 10 days, that there is phenomenal riding in this state, and I'm really looking forward to it, uh, especially up around Lake Superior and the North Shore Lake Superior. They say there's some great riding up there. So if there's anybody that sees this that's a rider in Minnesota and they're an adventure rider, or if you're a road rider and you want me to follow along or don't mind me following along, by all means, send me a direct message. I'd greatly appreciate it. So this is going to be the first introduction of the series. Uh, hope everybody follows along. It ought to be informative to a lot of people, I hope, because uh, it's going to be informative to me. I've already learned a lot, and I'm still learning a lot. i got a lot of questions to still ask and a lot to learn. So if there's anybody out there that wants to mentor me and help me along the way, by all means, I'm all ears, and I, I, I am a good learner even at my age. So anyways, uh, look forward to future videos, and uh, please follow Smoky Outdoor Adventures, not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram and also on Facebook. I have social media uh, sites out there. Greatly appreciate it if you follow along and uh, provide feedback, please, because this isn't only for me and my knowledge, but it's also going to be for anybody else that goes down the same path that I am going down to buy an adventure bike and learn adventure biking and doing the off-road thing or mixed-use thing. So anyways, follow along. Thanks a lot.